Now, quite rightly, there's been a lot of talk about ethanol recently and the effect it will have on classic cars like these. Now, one of the things you really need to look at is your fuel hoses. Now, you should replace them every so often anyway. A fuel hose doesn't really last more than about 10, 15 years anyway. Then it starts to become perished. It becomes brittle. It starts cracking and it's prone to leaking anyway. Ethanol makes this process a bit faster. So if you've got an old classic car, change your fuel lines every 10 years anyway. However, it's important now to make sure you use the right sort of fuel hose. And we're looking at stuff that's classed as R9, ethanol tolerant, um, not R6 or anything like that. You've got to be careful. There is a lot of fake hose on the internet at the moment that's got all the right markings on it, but it is actually just ordinary rubber and it will dissolve within weeks. So you've got to buy from a reputable seller. Be really careful. There's some, some horrible people selling some really dangerous stuff out there. So first step, get your fuel lines sorted out. Um, ethanol will also dissolve any deposits that are in there. It's quite a good solvent. So if there's any gunk in there, it's going to loosen that up and it's going to jam in carburetors and filters and things like that. Um, but if you service your carburetors, you clean them out every winter and everything, um, that will be fine. New filters, always a good idea every year anyway. Uh, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Where ethanol might give you a problem is if you've got a, a steel tank that's got a bit of rust in it. Now, ethanol reacts with rust to turn into an acid, which then eats all sorts of other things. But it's also hydroscopic, and it absorbs water from, uh, from the atmosphere. Um, so if you've got any sort of rust in the tank already, it's going to start making it worse. Now, if you lay your car up over the winter, there's two ways of getting around that. Fill the tank fully with fuel, so there's no atmospheric uh, moisture you can get in or drain it completely. You can also add a fuel stabiliser, which reduces that impact quite a bit. It's not rocket science. It's not the end of the world. A few sensible precautions and your car will be fine. Uh, you need to look at certain types of seals. Uh, it can eat. Uh, it's quite good at eating zinc. So anything galvanised, it will tend to slowly munch its way through, so there's more to it. But the first thing that I'd urge you to do straight away is to change your fuel lines over anyway as a precaution, but go to the R9 ethanol tolerant hoses and do that now with decent clips on the end of it. Don't let your uh, classic car start leaking fuel. We don't want cars catching fire over the summer. So get that done now.